My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training, and in today's Everyday Office, I'm going to be using macros using the Quick Access Toolbar. So to begin with, uh, let's take a look at some situations that might call for using macros. For me, I like to use, instead of this Merge and Center button that's on the Alignment tab, I like to use a tool called Center Across Selection. Uh, here's how it works. If I were to highlight from A1 across to P1, for example, I could merge those cells together, but then it would be one huge Frankenstein cell, and it would uh, sort of break down the functionality of the spreadsheet, the, the integrity of the rows and columns. If instead I went to the Alignment tab, or the Alignment group on the Home tab, went to this little pop-out button down here in the corner, and on the Horizontal Alignment drop-down menu, notice right here I can choose Center Across Selection. Now, I would love to have this easily accessible, maybe on the ribbon or something like that. So if I go to Center Across Selection and click OK, you can see here now when I type a little something in, uh, this is the title for this page, for example. Notice how um, it looks like that set of cells has been merged and centered, but in fact, each one of these independent cells is still available for clicking, and uh, we can do basically anything we want in this range. So that's more functional than the merge and center power there. So what I do is I take the time to record myself doing that step as a macro that's in the personal macro workbook and then I can stash that on my quick access toolbar. You can see that one right up there at the top, the center across selection. So here's how I make that happen. The first thing I need is to be able to get access to my personal macro workbook. I can get there by going to the View tab at the top of the screen and clicking on Unhide. When I click on Unhide, if the personal macro workbook is currently hidden, I can find Personal right there and click OK to unhide it. You can see there, there's my personal macro workbook unhidden currently. Okay. So what I want is to record myself centering something across the selection um, using the developer tab onto the personal macro workbook so that I can get access to this no matter what spreadsheet I have open. So first I go to my developer tab and if I don't have the developer tab I right click at the top of the screen up here choose customize the ribbon and make sure that my developer tab checkbox is checked. So then I click OK, and my Developer tab is available to me. Now, it doesn't really matter whether I'm using relative references or absolute references here, because I'm not going to record myself selecting anything or moving anywhere as part of this process. So what I'll do is I will simply highlight, well, let's say these cells right here before recording the macro. That's important because to my mind, I want to be able to say whatever I have selected, let's center that across the selection. So I have these cells highlighted before I start the recording process. I click on record macro. I might call this one Center Across Selection Macro or something like that. And um, I'm not going to assign it a keyboard shortcut yet because as you'll see by putting on the Quick Access Toolbar, I'll be able to work with this differently. I'll use the drop down menu for store the macro in and store it in the personal macro workbook instead of this workbook. Now the point of this, the purpose behind making this choice is that by saving this into the personal macro workbook, I make a macro that is available to me whenever I'm sitting at this computer, no matter what spreadsheet I have open. By saving it into this workbook, I'm saying whenever I have this spreadsheet open, then I want to be able to use that macro. So I'm creating this in my personal macro workbook. And I'll just go ahead and give it the description of center across selection macro recorded 11, 14, 17 by N. Malik. And when I click OK, the only thing I have to do is go to the Home tab, top of the screen, click on to the Alignment group in the uh, bottom right hand corner, this little pop out button that's there for the alignment settings. Use the horizontal alignment drop down menu and choose center across selection. And then click OK. 
and then I'm done. I go to my developer tab at the top of the screen and click stop recording. Now this next part is actually going to be very important. I'm going to go in and check on that macro and see what's actually in there because very often when you're changing one thing about formatting, a lot of other choices get made as part of that process. To see whether or not this is working properly, I go to my Visual Basic button on the Developer tab and click on it. And in this panel, remember that I recorded this into my personal macro workbook. So I can see here the VBA project called personal.xlsb, not book two, that spreadsheet that I was originally on. I go to the modules little plus sign there, and this is uh, module one right here. This is the original. Uh, macro that I created. Here's the new version of that, that's center across selection macro. Now the only thing I want you to pay attention to here is you can see that it says whatever I have selected, let's change the horizontal alignment to center across selection. But then you look at this and you go, oh, but also change the vertical alignment to bottom and wrap text to false and orientation to zero and add indent to false and indent level to zero and shrink to fit to false and reading order to Excel context. All of this stuff, I don't think this is actually relevant to what I want to have happen. So I'm going to make sure that I remove that all. Now I, I will leave the merge cells equals false here because yeah, if, if I had a set of cells selected and there were some merged cells in there, maybe I'd want to unmerge them as part of the process. That makes sense. And you can see there a very simple macro called center across selection macro where it says whatever the selection is, whatever cells you have highlighted, let's center those across the selection and let's make sure that they are not merged together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that macro and rather than having to go to the macros button up at the top of the screen, click on macros and then run that center across selection macro that's right there. Instead of having to do that every time, I want to put a button on my quick access toolbar. So I use the drop down menu on the right hand side of the quick access toolbar and choose more commands to be able to add basically anything I want to that little strip right there. I click on more commands. You can see here on the left hand side is popular commands. I'm going to shift over to my macros specifically and I'm going to click on this center across selection macro. Click add and now I can go ahead and tweak this a little bit. I'll click modify. Uh, maybe centering looks like uh, this one right here and maybe I call this one center across. Okay, then I click okay. And in the future, whatever cells I have highlighted, let me go ahead and highlight from A1 to M1. I can go to this button up here and click the center across button, but I can also do the following, watch this. If I just tap the Alt key on the keyboard, you can see here that that center across selection button is actually now just Alt 7. So that's the keyboard shortcut that I can use instead of trying to add in Control Shift C or something along those lines. So I'll just use Alt 7 as my keyboard shortcut. And now when I type something in, you can see it's centered from A1 to M1. And if I highlight from A9 to F9 and I hit Alt 7, that's highlighted from A9 to F9 and it's centered from A9 to F9. If I highlight from F17 to P17 and I hit Alt 7 on my keyboard, then whatever is between a, uh, F17 and P17 is centered across that area. But each one of these cells is still available and active. They are not merged together. So by putting things on the quick access toolbar through that simple macro, you gain access to tools like center across selection or accounting underlining, things like that, uh, that wouldn't normally be available to you through a simple click. You make them a very simple keyboard shortcut that's very easy to get to.